This week on the RC Shop, the Gremlin gets a new transmission and we sort out his chassis. The Bulgar RC Gremlin build is still priority here in the shop, but before we get started, I wanted to see if I could get a little help from you guys. We can't keep calling this thing the Gremlin build, so if you have any good name suggestions, please leave them down below for me. Okay, back to why we're all here. Last time we got together, we hinged the hood on the Gremlin. That's going to allow for a fully detailed engine bay that's viewable. There's one major problem though. The SX-10-2 chassis we're using is mid-engine, and we need that engine up front under the hood. We're gonna need a new transmission and transfer case to allow the motor to be moved up front, and SSD has that solution for us with their SCX-10 scale transmission. This transmission looks a lot like the RC four-wheel drive's R4 transmission. Not sure if it's the same or not, but it is a nice piece of gear, and it's gonna look amazing in the Gremlin. Now we just need to get it mounted in the chassis, and this might prove to be a little more difficult than I'm expecting but we'll get it done. And I think while we're at it, we'll go ahead and change out those shocks, the shock towers, and move the servo up front. We'll have to start by stripping down the chassis. All right, Frank, hit the radio. Hey Frank, I need to make some phone calls. Can you come finish up over here for me? Frank? Frank, I need a hand over here. The mounting holes for the transfer case on the chassis are on the passenger side. I think I'll start by trying to flip the skid plate to make this work. Hey Frank, can I get a hand? Well, that's not gonna work. The mounting holes don't line up and the four link mounts get in the way. I think I'll try flipping the transfer case instead. Let's give that a try. Hey Frank, can I get a hand here? With no help from Frank, I flipped the transfer case and now it's on the passenger side. The mounting holes are now facing up, but at least the output shaft is on the correct side for an SCX-102 chassis. I'm hoping this works. With what I think is having the transmission sorted out, we can now get it installed into the chassis, along with the shocks, shock towers, and the front servo mount. But first, we're gonna have to take a quick commercial break. Don't go anywhere, there's much more to come.
Welcome back. Before the break, we were about to install the transmission and some other upgraded parts. So let's go ahead and do that. Frank, can you flip on the radio again? Frank, the radio. Frank. Okay, I'll do it. All that went together pretty straightforward, no thanks to Frank, and I went ahead and slipped the body onto the chassis, which is an amazingly perfect fit, as you can see. Even with the chassis built to the short wheelbase, you can see the axles don't match up exactly with the center of the fender wells. That's okay, we can fix that when we modify the fenders. Also with that short wheelbase, you can see the rear shocks are leaning back, and that's not gonna work, and I also think we're gonna have to shorten those drive shafts. I wanna start by addressing the rear shocks. With them leaning back like they are, the rear axle is not gonna articulate as well as we'd like. We'd really like them leaning forward. Super simple fix. We won't be using the mounting posts, so where they're located doesn't really matter. I've just flipped sides with the shock towers, which now puts the shock mounts to the front of the truck and gives the shocks a little forward lean. With the stock drive shafts, I have a sneaky suspicion they're gonna be too long to use with this new transfer case. Just as I suspected, the rear drive shaft's a hair too long. Same up front, but we've got the added problem of it also rubbing against the transmission. With the transfer case flipped, you can see the output shaft is much higher than normal. These are the issues you run into when building custom trucks, but I think these can be easily fixed. In the back, it's just a matter of cutting the drive shaft shorter, and we'll do the same up front, but unfortunately, we're gonna have to also flip the transfer case back to the driver's side to bring that output shaft down so the drive shaft will clear the transmission. This is a bit frustrating and actually a little bit embarrassing because this is probably the most obvious solution was to just leave the transfer case on the driver's side and move that front third link to the passenger side. Well, at least in the end we'll get it right. You can see up front the drive shaft is shortened and the third link has been moved to the passenger side. In the back it was much simpler. All we had to do was just shorten the drive shaft and you can see it all seems to work well. Again, you run into these things when building a custom truck. I can guarantee you this transmission will be in and out of the Gremlin at least a dozen more times before we're finished. That's just the nature of the beast with these things. For now, I think it's coming together relatively smoothly. We still need a motor and a firewall and fender wells and all the details, but what we really need right now for this is a name for the project. I've got an idea for graphics I'd like to use, but they require a name, so if you have a good one, leave it down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed what you watched, please hit that like button. Yell at me down there also. I do read all my comments. Subscribe if you haven't already if you want to keep up with these builds. And guys, feel free to share these videos with all your friends. I'll see you next time. Maybe there'll be a motor going into this truck. But anyway, see you next time. Bye-bye.